speaking of death, I I had a pretty much a near death experience this weekend. Oh, we uh we went on a backpacking trip, a three day backpacking trip. Me and my guy Evan and his buddy Travis. Um, so it was Upper Cataract Lake outside of Heaney, Colorado, about two hours west of Denver. We went up uh we went up about twenty five hundred feet elevation gain over seven miles up to the lake and carry carrying our big packs, carrying our big packs. You got all your food, you got your clothes, you got your tent, your pad, your sleeping, uh your sleeping bag. So it's it's pretty heavy. I'm I'm gonna guess about sixty pounds, about sixty pounds on my back. So we're we come across a little snow because we're high up there. We're about eleven thousand feet. Come across some snow, we put our our micro blades on our on our boots so we got our spikes on but uh still still very slippery very slippery very packed the snow is very packed i mean it's mm-hmm. it's late june it's almost july so that that snow has been there a long time got it so my buddy evan he's a little bit lower than me as we're going across going across a, a pretty steep slope and he falls down, but he he mm. sticks his pole in the ground, so he he he's good, okay. But he's just, he's just hanging out on the ground for a little bit, catching his breath. He's good. So I, I'm a I, I keep going. I slip, I slip like I'm on a damn ice rink, okay. It like like black ice coming up and just sneaking up and getting you. So so fast that I can't put my pole in. I'm sliding down the mountain, Max. I'm sliding, oh, boys. Oh, I'm sliding. Boys. Oh no. Evan's Evan's watching me the whole time. He's got his eyes on me. Luckily, he sticks out his pole. He sticks out his other pole. You know, everybody's we got two poles. Sticks out his other pole. I grab the pole. Easy. Mm. Easy exchange there. But then my weight takes him down a little bit. He's a little guy. I'm a little bigger than him. Takes him down a little bit, but mm. then he's able to able to get that other pole back in the ground. And we were good. Oh, boys. But damn it, that was scary. That, oh goodness, Cole Breezy, uh, the feeling that you had, the sensation of almost dying, that's something that I hope nobody has to witness up until, you know, later on in life uh, when you're 99 years old and you just decide, ah, take me. You know, that's not one of those instances. What were you feeling, man? I'm still a young man. I, uh, ah. I mean, obviously walking walking along the way i'm looking down and i'm i'm seeing i'm seeing where i could possibly go you, you're barely scooting you're barely moving your feet um i mm. totally terrified totally terrified yeah. as i was sliding but confident also because Ev- evan and i we make we made eye contact he had me the whole way my guy evan mm. saved me oh man that's good that's good man uh whew. That's that's a scary instance. I ca- I can't. I have to. I have to bring this up. And I, I'm I'm sorry to, to, uh, to, to try to make a bright note out, out of this situation because it's you know incredibly terrifying, man. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But when you slipped, did Cobrezi give a slight yell? <laughs> did you I, yell? I not that I remember. No, not that I remember. Uh, I because if you if you slipped. And you fell. I, I picture this to be the scenario. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I could I could see that being my scream, yeah. <laughs> kind of like a ghost. <laughs> the guy the other guys are, are wondering, wait, well, hold on a minute. Does he need help or is he just having fun? As you say, we Yeah, I I was definitely picking up speed as I went, so I'm glad I was stopped when I was. That's good. Good good to hear. I'm glad you're with us today, Cole Breezy, on the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast.